William Hogarth was an artist, writer, social critic and cartoonist. He was our greatest satirist, best known for his moral and humorous engravings and paintings, which caught the sadness and humour in the human condition and the British at their baldy best. In 1732, William Hogarth and friends went on a walk and holiday around the Isle of Sheppey. He wrote a book about his adventures and called it The Five Days Peregrination Around the Isle of Sheppey. Hogarth writes, So merrily along we go and reach that famous town by two. The famous town he is talking about is Queenborough. He goes on to say, Queenborough consists of one short street, broad and well paved and very neat. Hogarth and his friends stop at the Red Lion, known locally as the Swans. The landlady found them lodgings in a private house at 23 High Street, Queenborough. Hogarth complains that there is no fresh meat, poultry or fish, and he and his companions make do with lobster, bacon and eggs for their meal. William Hogarth wrote this about Queenborough girls. At seven, about the town we walk, and with some pretty damsels talk, beautiful nymphs, indeed I ween, who come to see and be seen. Hogarth and companions visit Queenborough Castle site, walk around Queenborough Churchyard where they talk to a grave digger. Hogarth is not very complimentary about the church, saying the church is low and ill-built. That evening, Hogarth spoke to several pretty girls. He sat on a chair in the middle of the road drawing Queenborough High Street. A crowd of townspeople gather around him. Later, he and his companions returned to the inn and drank good flip and sang merrily. Flip is a mixture of beer, rum and sugar heated with a red hot iron. Leaving Queenborough behind and carrying their wet washing with them, Hogarth and company walked to Minster describing the country as very pleasant. Here they stayed at the George, visiting Minster Abbey, where they were told of the legend of Lord Sherland, which they found to be remarkable. Walking to Sheness, they hired a small boat to take them to Gravesend, all becoming seasick.